friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kathleen and today's video is going to be a book tag and today's book tag is the TMI versus the TID book tag. This tag was created by Samantha from Samantha's Books so I'll leave her original video linked down below for you guys to check it out. I was not technically tagged to do this tag however someone on Twitter had asked me to do this tag and I apologize this was months ago and I cannot find a tweet anymore so I can't tell you who tagged me. To that person who did thank you so much for telling me to do this tag because these questions are all about comparing the Mortal Instruments series with the Inferno Devices series all by Cassandra Clare. I read the Inferno Devices series about a year and a half ago and I just recently finished reading the Mortal Instruments series so I thought this was a perfect way to tell you about my loves between the two different series and I just wanted to say before we get started that this video will have some minor spoilers for the Mortal Instruments series and the Inferno Devices series so if you guys don't want to be spoiled for the books please come back and watch another time after you have read all of these amazing books but in the meantime let's go ahead and get started question number one favorite main character clary or tessa i have to go with tessa on this one clary in the mortal instruments series she did so many things that i found to be really annoying and very selfish and ignorant at times and tessa wasn't like that i don't think tessa ever annoyed me to the point that clary did for this question i have to go with tessa Question number two, favorite Herondale, Jace or Will? I have to go with Jace with this one. This is an unpopular opinion, but many of you guys know that I don't like Will. It's not that necessarily that I hate Will. I just disagreed with some of the things that he did. And I do realize that he did the things that he did for a reason, but I believe that he could have done it differently. And Jace, while he was an arrogant ass, he was almost endearing and charming so I definitely like Jace better than Will. Alright and then question number three is favorite love triangle Simon, Clary, and Jace or Will, Tessa, and Jem? There is not even a question it is definitely Will, Tessa, and Jem. I don't even believe that Simon, Jace, and Clary were a love triangle because while there was a period a very short period where Clary did date Simon there was just no attraction between them it was very one sided from the very beginning it was always Clary and Jace so I don't even think that Simon Jace and Clary are an actual love triangle Will Tessa and Jem definitely I just love that love triangle I honestly think in my opinion it is the only love triangle that is done well but that's just in my opinion I know a lot of people hate that love triangle but that's question number four better villain Sebastian or the Magister I have to go with Sebastian on this one the Magister he just never scared me yes he was a dick and I hated him but Sebastian just he was creepy and he was scary and he terrified me with his actions and the way he thought about things I definitely have to say that Sebastian is the better villain because I almost connected with him in, in a way and in some parts I felt sorry for him and the Magister never really instilled those feelings in me like Sebastian did so I definitely have to go with Sebastian on this one question number five better army the dark army or the clockwork army I have to go with the dark army on this one the clockwork army is cool but using the people like the shadow hunters themselves and turning them evil it's a whole other kind of evil that you're playing with here basically you're using people's loved one to make them evil I feel like the dark army was more devastating not only in a physical way but also in a very emotional way so I definitely have to say that the better army is the dark army and then question number six better first book City of Bones or Clockwork Angel I have to go with Clockwork Angel in this one City of Bones wasn't my favorite book in the series in fact I have to say that it's probably my least favorite book in the Mortal Instruments series but Clockwork Angel I felt it was very engaging and I really liked that first book I thought it was a fantastic beginning to a wonderful trilogy so I do have to go with the Clockwork Angel with this one question number seven better female psychic Isabel Lightwood or Cecile Herondale <sighs> This is a hard one because I feel like even though they're both very kick-ass, they're both very different, and especially in their kick-ass ways. But I think I have to go with Isabel with this one. I just love Isabel to pieces. I think she's such an amazing, well 
rounded character. I feel like I connected more with Isabel than I did with Cecile, so I think I'm gonna go with Isabel on this one. Question number eight, better setting, the New York Institute or the London Institute? I have to go with the London Institute with this one, and it honestly has nothing to do with the books themselves. It's just that I love London. I have been to London several times in my life, and it is honestly my favorite city in the world. I just love how lively it is. I love the people. They're so fantastic, and it's such a beautiful, beautiful city, and I just can't express how much I love London, so I have to go with the London Institute for this question. Question number nine, better last book, City of Heavenly Fire or Clockwork Princess? <sighs> I really had to think about this one because I think they're both very fantastic last books but I think I'm gonna go with City of Heavenly Fire with this one. City of Heavenly Fire was my favorite book in the whole series. There was not one moment in that book that I didn't like. It just I connected with every single character in every single moment and I loved every single second of the book. In Clockwork Princess, while I love that book, it is fantastic. It's not my favorite book ever and I definitely liked City of Heavenly Fire more. So for this question, I'm I'm definitely gonna have to say that City of Heavenly Fire was the better last book. And the final question, question number 10. Better final epilogue, City of Heavenly Fire or Clockwork Princess? Now, I may like City of Heavenly Fire better than Clockwork Princess, but to me, the better final epilogue is Clockwork Princess. I love it. It's fantastic, and if you guys have been on my channel for a while, then you know why. Don't get me wrong, I, I think that both epilogues are fantastic, but I have to go with Clockwork Princess for this question. Personally, my favorite epilogue is Clockwork Princess. Anyway guys, so that was the TMI versus TID book tag. This is probably one of my most favorite tags that I've done because I love just comparing two series that I love so much. Let me know down in the comments below which answers you agree with me or which answers you definitely disagree with me because I would really love to know. Anyway guys, thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a like if you did and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. All of my social medias are linked down below including Twitter, Instagram, and Goodreads. If you you like to follow me. I hope to see you guys on my next video. Have a good day guys and keep reading. Bye!